Today we're going to check out the brand new kit from The Sims 4, The Sims 4 menswear, Modern Menswear Kit that came out a couple of days ago. I'm a little bit slow because I totally missed it coming out, which I think is telling of the fact that I wasn't like super excited for it. But anyway, let's check it out. Just before we get into it, I want to let you guys know that the Deligracy Sage hoodie and black motherload hoodie have been restocked. They're already selling out again in some sizes. So if you would like to get them, go get it now. They're available for pre-order in Jan. And if you're waiting for this t-shirt to come back in stock, coming out, I think in a few days time, hopefully. So if you follow me at Deligracy on Instagram and Twitter, I will be letting you guys first know when that happens. So keep an eye out. Also, I missed yesterday's advent calendar because that video was pre-recorded. Today's is Supreme Matcha Green, and it's good. I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10, no complaints, but eh, it's okay. Because if you guys don't know, every day I'm trying to upload daily videos, you guys. And I, oh, this is an interesting jacket. And I'm really hoping to upload every day. So check the channel daily, your daily deli goodness. Okay, I love the construction of the collar here. Now, because they have collaborated with Stephen Cook or Stephen Cook, a London-based brand, a lot of these items are actually taken from real life, their real life designs and put into the game. And they're known for being contemporary leaders in men's designer wear. And it is very like sophisticated designs, which is not everyone's cup of tea. Um, Personally, I love seeing different kinds of fashion. Like for example, I love this jumper IRL. I think it's so nice and beautiful, but I'm not sure how well all of these pieces are actually translating to The Sims 4, if it's gonna look a little alpha from the images that I've seen, like the previews, I was a bit like, oh, I don't know if they're pushing the aesthetic bar a bit there. Um, but I do love this jumper. I think it looks good in most swatches, but I've got to admit a little bit, a little bit of it's looking slightly alpha vibes, which as a player, it will deter me from using the items. You know how much I love my Maxis match. This looks great. It's a great uh, jacket looking good. Let's see it on a different size sim. Oh, I, I like it actually on a cuddlier sim more, I think. Love that. I really like the neckline on this shirt. When I saw those, I was like, I want to get it for James. So yeah, I quite like this shirt. He's a really cute sweater with a pom-pom. It's quite good for the holiday season, I think. And I have to say, I absolutely love the texture on this. I think the texture looks great. I'm never a fan of 3D items being 2D on Sims clothing. I'll always point that out, but I think I'm the minority who actually notices that. Very cute. This is an awesome piece. Like in terms of the actual idea of pushing menswear to be less conservative. I really love that. I've been really enjoying, especially at like red carpet events, seeing men on the red carpet being more experimental, wearing dresses, um, bringing it more into main fashion. I think it's really exciting. So I love the idea of that. And this is cool. And I like the scalloped hem as well. I think this is really cool. So this is where we start getting a little alpha looking, I think. You know what it is? I think it's actually the shading in these cutouts. I don't think the cutouts, unfortunately, from this label have translated that well to The Sims. I'm not sure if it was a very good fit. I think they were really trying to bring something different to The Sims 4 and really make male outfits super exciting for players and really fun because you know, everyone says the male outfits are boring and the females get all the fun. So the Sims have probably gone ahead and thought, oh yeah, let's like bring something really fun and experimental for menswear. But I actually think that the problem is it's not as usable as players want because it is different. So it probably would have been safer for them to just do like a streetwear label rather than a high-end fashion label. No discredit to the designers whatsoever. Like this stuff is awesome. But I think for the Sims player base, something more like broadly versatile would have probably been a better route to go in. I mean, I don't know. I'm always the type of person who wants to see the positive in a situation. I think they just tried to deliver something really exciting and not everyone appreciates it, which is also fair enough. By the way, I love this pink. I think the little cutouts work. And we've got this cutout vest. Again, IRL, this is really cool. Does it translate to The Sims? 
in some of the swatches, but the shading on the, the like mid colors here to me looks a little muddy. Then we've got the vest. One thing they did do really well is the textures on here. I think the textures look really good. Okay, so that's the tops. I think, I mean, that vest is awesome. I am excited to use this for some of my Sims. I feel like my lisp is really bad today. I think it's because I'm tired. I feel like I'm sticky like this today. So funny, whenever I'm tired, it's so, so much more noticeable. All right, so we've got the matching denim jeans that go with the top. This is a look, this is a look. This is cool. This reminds me a little bit of, um, there was something that came in Eco Lifestyle that was a little bit similar. I also know this is literally what the brand makes. So I don't think it's a case of them recycling any ideas, but I particularly love this in the lighter denim. I'm gonna go back to this vest because I really like the vest. Actually, you know what? We might need to take the shirt off because I want to see some of these. Oh, okay. So this is like a matching moment as well um, with this, which I love, like matching tracksuits. I've been so into them the last couple of years. They've really come through during the pandemic. So I like that we're kind of mirroring that in The Sims. So yeah, I'd pair it with like the color and the button or on the sleeves probably. This is another interesting one. Got some, I actually don't know what that is. Oh, okay, a bit of fun. These are cool. Oh, they're really cool. I like them, very like relaxed, slouchy. I mean, obviously all of these are going to pair really nicely together because the de designers made them. <laughs> and then we have the skirt. I think introdu introducing skirts for males in The Sims 4 is a really great and exciting thing for the game because The Sims wants to be inviting to all kinds of players. And I do think that this is inclusive, not to mention it's really cute. So that's our skirt, love it. And then we've got these interesting texture as well. I mean, these look all pretty good to me. Are they super versatile? Somewhat. Are they what everyone's gonna like? No, but I think it's good they took a risk and brought something different to the table. All right, and then we have the full body outfits. I'm actually really curious to hear what you guys think of this in the comments down below as well. So this is a jacket and skirt combo in some really, really nice patterns. This is really cool. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. And then there's this version as well. So this is this like, I don't actually know what you call it. Scarf neck feature is I think in a lot of their real life designs. So this is kind of iconic to the brand. And I think bringing it to the game, they've actually done a damn good job of it because this is the kind of thing I thought might look a bit alpha, but I'm impressed because that that's not easy. I think they've done a good job with that. Then there's this, this is like a long top tunic, maybe tunic, tunic, tunic. I don't know. <laughs> Here I am trying to review the pack and sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I'm like tunic. <laughs> oh, actually, no, no, no. I think this is a skirt and um, like a reverse sculpt edge. That's what it is. I thought it was like one big piece. I'm actually not sure. This is a cool texture, the different fabrics. Then there's this which is clearly also very contemporary and different. Oh, wow, this is a full set with boots built into it. Okay, so this looks like it's a runway look. So what happens if I put other shoes on? It doesn't come in. Okay, well, this is really cool. This is like, as an outfit, this is like fashion and very sophisticated. I love, 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 love it. I think probably with the full outfits, I get it, you know, the collaborated with designers who want to showcase their amazing work, their incredible artistry. I just think maybe they did a few too many sophisticated pieces for what players want. There's also a couple of shoes too. Do these look like a nice pair of loafer type shoes? They're really cool. They're great. And then these as well. Very cool shoes. Really cool. I just want to check, have I missed anything? Oh, there's also some styled looks, which I think is important to have a look at because I imagine the designers may maybe had a part to play in actually showing how it's meant to be styled. These look really nice. I mean, I love these outfits. Got this as well, very cool. Why do I, I feel like it's kind of 70s. Then we've got this. Can I also just say, I really like the different Sims they've made to put these outfits on. Like, I feel like that's really nice. 
That's cool. And it's good to demonstrate how to actually use these clothes because these aren't the clothes that you see everywhere. So I like seeing how they're styled. That's awesome. So in terms of the kit, me personally, I love artsy stuff. So I'm into it. I love really high-end, sophisticated fashion. Not that I wear it or can afford it. I love looking at it and learning about it. But I'm probably a small percentage of players, to be honest, who's going to like it and be into it. And even still, this wasn't something that I was super excited about. As much as I love the designer's work, it's probably not the best fit for the direction of a Sims 4 pack. Um, just because simply not a lot of people are into it. Probably would have been better to go with like a street brand for male fashion. Still have some really exciting pieces. The inclusion of the skirt I think is great, but maybe a bit more versatile, less tailored. It's not like they can go up to any designer and use anyone's design. So it's not as easy as just picking another designer. And I don't want to discredit the designers I've worked with because I think they've done a great job. But someone like Rick Owens, I think might've still, if they wanted to do the high-end fashion collaboration, they could have done that with a more grungy street feel that players might've related to more. So there's still very experimental pieces for menswear. Yeah, with more like casual looking stuff, maybe if they wanted to do the high end thing still. But to be honest, I don't think people are really looking for high end menswear. I think they just want like everyday men's stuff. And that can include skirts as well and bright colors, but maybe just not as high end. In saying that, I think it's cool that The Sims have got the right idea in mind. You know, they are trying to kind of bring the players what they want. They probably thought this is great. This is amazing menswear, it pushes the boundaries of what's expected. It, it's exciting, but they probably just went a little too high, you know? But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. I also just wanted to talk about um, The Sims in general at the moment, because it's so funny. Whenever I talk about The Sims, I've released review videos. People are always like, oh, you're EA but kisser stuff like that she's so fake you know simply because i am being genuine in my personality that i always like to see like a positive side of things and for some people they want to watch criticism which is fine but it's just not me and i'm not gonna like be savage or critical when that not genuine to my personality. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, go to another channel if you want different kind of reviews, that's fine. Um, so I thought I'd just say that. It's not a matter of being fake. It's actually the opposite. It's actually me just being me. Um, so yeah, that's how I review packs. Take my channel as watching a rom-com, not a drama. <laughs> we keep it light and fluffy here. It's fine if, it, it's, fine if it's not for you. Yeah, in terms of The Sims, I really, really was wanting an expansion or game pack. And I get it, it's not coming this year. But of course, as someone who loves playing The Sims and as someone who creates videos for The Sims, why wouldn't I want an expansion pack or a game pack to play? So I really do hope that they bring one out early next year. And I would actually really love to know why they chose not to release one at this time of year when in the past, they usually do have a bigger pack. I wonder if it is like the pandemic having pushed something back, if they ran into an issue with something, so they have to wait, or if they're actually planning and working on some like big free update or something. Anyway, I think it could be any of those things. So yeah, I'm really curious to see what's coming and and I really wish I could buy all of these designer clothing pieces. I'm just literally on far fetch looking at all of these designer clothes. I'll take this and this and this and this and these. I'll take it all. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon. Ta-ta!